The next thing we'll deal with are routes with parameters. We're not always going to have some normal routes like slash about, slash contact. We're going to have some routes that have variables in them. Maybe we have a post route with a variable for the post slug or a username route with a variable for the username. What those routes will look like is that we will pass in a variable using the brackets and the variable name that we want in there. And in here, we have the username variable, and we can easily pass that into our function that handles this route by passing it straight through to the function. And then we get access to it using dollar sign username, just like we would use any other variable in PHP. As an example of this, we have an at Chris username route, and this would output this user is Chris. Let's see this in action now. We're going to close that sidebar, go back into the routes.php, and for ease of use, we will do this directly in the routes.php file, route get, and let's do the same route that we just created. We're going to do an at symbol, username, and this is how a site like Medium and how we at Scotch do our username routes. We put the at in front of it, makes it seem like a username. We'll use a function here, pass in the username variable, and now we can pass in the username at Chris and we get Chris is dumped out let's see another example let's say we wanted two different variables we have a category variable and a post slug variable we would need to pass in both of those and let's dump both of those category and post slug and we'll do tutorials slash my post so now both of those are passed through to our function exactly how we would expect and we can do the same exact thing for a controller route let's say we wanted to pass in about username here we can come over to the site controller find that about function pass in the username through here dump the username here and we can go to the route about Chris. We get our username passed in to the site controller just like we did in our function here. What about routes that have optional parameters? Let's say we have an API route where we get the users and then in here we would get all the users and let's do that dd all the users and we'll go here find that route all the users and that works exactly how we would expect now what about if we wanted to get a specific type of user let's add a variable here for type and we don't want this to be always required so we'll put a question mark in there and the way we handle that is we're going to pass in type and then give it a default value of null Let's dump the type in here, users, and that's null because there is no type. In our case, we would want that to get all of the users. Let's try it with an admin variable. That is actually taking this route. It thinks that this is a category and this is the post slug. We'll move that farther down. And that's important to note that routes are registered in the order that they appear. So if this shows up first, this will be called first, and this will be called into this route. Now that we put it below the user's type route, we can try that again. And now we see the correct admin that we dumped for the type. And we can handle that here if the type is null. So that means there was no type passed through. We're going to dump and die all the users, and then else find all the users of type. Try that again. And now we have all the users that are admin. And then here is all of the users. So you can see how route parameters are very easy to handle in Laravel. 
and they can easily be passed through and given default values for when we need them.